In this video, we are going to be looking at debugging the .NET error null reference exception, object reference not set to an instance of an object. So I was recently looking at this with a colleague because they were trying to debug a situation. And the bottom line is this is actually pretty straightforward in this case. But what you have going on is you have a null reference and we're gonna actually duplicate this error so that you can see what's going on. Keep in mind, this can happen with other object types. We're gonna be looking at uh, one particular case here, but this can happen quite a bit. <clears throat> I believe in Java, uh, it's like null pointer reference or something like that where it's also uh, very similar, but um, that one I've seen before when like you have somebody, let's say, comparing dates and one of the dates is null. There's nothing there. And so when you're trying to compare, it's going to throw that because it's like, hey, uh, there's nothing here to compare. So I'm going to be using, in this case, uh, this <clears throat> .NET fiddle here. And so I'm going to pull this out and we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, write a little bit of code. So I'm going to do some live coding here and I'm going to kind of go from memory and we'll see. But what I want to do is I want to write a for each loop and I want to iterate over a string array and I just want to output uh, with console write line. I want to just output what's in the string array. But the first thing that I want to do with the string array, and we'll call this string array throw error, is I want to set this first one to null, right? So if I iterate over this string array, there's nothing in it, and we'll actually see the error. Next thing I'm going to do is create a string array, and I'm going to call this pass fine, and we'll go ahead and we'll set this, I'm going to put that at the end, I always forget that, uh, string one, and we'll do string two, and we'll do uh, string three. So we have three strings. So if I go through, if I do a for each loop, so if I do for each and I say variable and we'll call this str in and we'll do pass find first. What we should see on the screen is that, I'm going to just cut and paste this because I'm lazy. We will get the string one, two, and three. So if I take this <clears throat> and I run this, we'll see string one, two, three. That is because this array has values in it. So if we want to duplicate this error here, null reference exception, object reference not set to an instant of, a, of an object, all we have to do is change this pass find to throw error. And we run this, we'll get that error. The reason is because this is null, right? So we're trying to do something with an object that's null and we're not able to do anything with an object that's null. So again, it's very similar, like I said, in the world of Java. The, the other issue that I saw, and this was, uh, I think it was a couple months ago, was again, a date comparison was going on and it had that null uh, pointer reference. And you can see with .NET, there's a similar one where you're trying to do something with a null object, it's not gonna be able to return anything.